Hello. The Protector's lineage has guarded the technology of the ancient world for thousands of years. It's a cruel irony that that same technology that almost destroyed our planet is now our only... What did we just do? I, I, we skipped the earlier cutscene, so I'm kind of lost. Uh oh. What'd you say? I'm kind of lost since we skipped the earlier cutscene, but I guess we're attacking some dudes. Yeah, we have to get, um, we have to get Aleph, uh, from, uh, from... Wait, we gotta get Aleph the again? The oh crap, I'm low. And then we have to check the prisoners to find the second projector. Okay, so we got a melee dudes, right? Okay, did I get... You got melee, okay. Uh, you got Aelum. It's a shame that we don't have an dagger. This part is a little funnier than a dagger. I don't know how to get Aayla. Just uh, grapple the snipe. Oh jeez. What's that moving, uh, thing? That's a turret. Don't, don't go in that circle. Okay, circle's if bad, got it. Can kill the engineers that basically disable the target. How to use my special ability, but I forget what button it was. Was uh, it control or something? Controller uh, I don't know the specific one, but uh, you were, um, oh, you were uh, Constantine. Yeah. Constantine isn't uh, the best one for this mission because it's very, very slow. Okay, slow is bad, gotcha. It depends on the mission. Oh god, circle. Yeah, if you kill the engineer, it will uh, stop the circle stuff. Engineer. You'll see them as a uh, blue one. Uh, as a blue uh, I like see the blue guy up there, okay. Oh, sniper got me. Maybe a fixed performance. Seems to be running that it's known that 
Yeah, that's good. Oh, this is not good. Circles are converging. Okay, someone must have got to the to the guy. Someone's injured. He's injured. Get him. Well, I'm dead again. Wow, I got insta killed by an enemy. Huh. Yeah, they grappled you. They tried to grapple you, just punched them off. I was punching them. Oh hey, I got one Aleph. Uh, how do I? What do I do with it? Keep it on the projector. If his shield goes down, he stop moving, and you have to get. Oh god, that's not good. So uh, I'm gonna die. Okay. I lo do I lose my Aleph if I die? Oh, okay. Thanks. You guys saved me. Oh, uh, we still close to this guy. Come on, uh, come to Orion. Uh, okay, coming. I think uh, everybody here has done this before. Everybody knows what's going on. Come here or you're gonna lose that Oh, I, I died. Yeah, I, I don't know why you didn't come to the elevator. I was fighting a guy. Okay, what do we do? Why, why is there a guy in a bubble now? He's the second projector. We have to. This is basically an escort mission. But these portions are well, really uh, not good. Although it feels like they've made it easier. There's like there was less stuff attacking us uh, in the first phase of it. I got an Aleph. Okay, I got two Aleph. I like how we're just beating all these guys up. Oh god, I just got killed. Well, there goes my Aleph, I guess. Olive. 
Yeah, you lose your Olive when you die, huh? Oh well. Like Max Zealot, baby. Request special troops. And everybody's just. You guys like, doing okay? We're fine. Yeah, we might. Okay, we're defending pretty well. Hey, we got more lives. I see you're at the front. I'm wondering where you are. Well, I figure I got a machine gun. I better be closer to them, right? Yeah, yeah. Are you just beating the dudes up? <laughs> They got caught. We gotta okay, heading gotta back. Go back. Are you guys okay? <laughs> So, oh god, they're, they're here. Yeah, I didn't see any voice chat button in the options. Uh, guys, need your help back here. Yeah, where was everyone? Wait, how did that guy get immune? Oh god, I'm gonna die. I don't even know what just happened. He, he pulled in a death strike. Somebody has to get alien and give him a 
see it. Otherwise, the timer is not gonna. Is the airstrike gonna hit us? Man, there are poor dude. Man, I'm running low on bullets. Guys, he uh, he need oh crap, he needs help again. Run! Okay, I definitely need to <laughs> punch some dudes. Yeah, it's almost over. Okay. No, I need ammo. Oh, I guess I don't. What did we just do? <laughs> okay, he went Super Saiyan and time did stop. Okay, cool. Okay, we did it. Alright, let's see how you did. Oh, very strong. Yeah, maybe they did make it easier. Either they made it easier or the people who are playing with us are like, you know, Kick pretty ass. good. Or they're pros. Yeah, that got really hairy at the end there, but we did it. Now, check out what you won. Whoa, lucky, lucky. A weapon blueprint. Let's see if you get that weapon blueprint. We'll see. All these dumb, stupid currencies. Oh, whatever, man. Aww. Oh. I don't even care. <laughs> okay, we did it. Oh, oh, hey, there's a cutscene. Yeah. This is the I final cutscene yeah. of the beta, I guess. Because there's no next mission anymore. Oh, I don't know about that. This is the they might uh, reintroduce like some missions for the prologue. Well, I mean, there's no next mission right now since it seems to be gone. The the, yeah, the yeah. hidden mission. My heart is Even radiant then, to oh, see yeah, you yeah, safe yeah. and sound. Hey, they how's it going? Champions to our cause. You are humans. Why do you fight on our side? Wait, He's wait. crazy. Which of us are human? As for me, I'd settle for a roll in the hay with her highness here. Our aim is to gather the three protectors. Invoke the ancient world technology and expel the humans from our planet forever. I see. But where's Kuursa? We need him for the invocation. We do not know his whereabouts. And Urugal, it's possible that Uras Beherit has escaped. There is no other explanation. They tell me they have fought strange apparitions, manifestations that look just like them. Then something terrible must have happened to Kurosa. We must find him right away. Okay, okay, cool. We did it. We, uh, we saved the protector. Yeah, that's it. That's that's all yeah. we got now. I'm guessing the third protector might be uh, the mission they introduce either before September 19th or on September 19th. That's if they 
if they put the third protector in this uh, prologue. Well, they just got to bring wonder, back uh, the the first and final missions of Alien Myths, and you know they had them in the last beta, right? Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, but uh, all I'm thinking, they must have nerfed some stuff. Uh, they must have made it like. They definitely nerfed some stuff and uh, maybe some fixes to the uh, optimization. Yeah. Hey, how do I. S you know, I'm gonna switch to solo mode just so I can watch that cutscene. Real quick. Which one? The, the cutscene we skipped at the beginning. Oh, yeah, yeah. I oh, might as well. All they're saying is that they need to get the uh, second protector, that's it. The protector's lineage has guarded the technology of the ancient world for thousands Wait, of years. I'm guessing they got a bunch of it's complaints cool about the first that phase of the Fistful of Sands because it was not that easy. I think they, they the must have changed how many enemies spawned in. in order to used to be an absolute mess. And we can return the humans had, back like, to their planet in the blink of an eye. Out, sure, like, saw these protectorist um, symbols around this other location. Quickly. The they would have there was trying to all their lives fighting, one time on the first phase. Division. I could do nothing gotcha. to help them, but I'm sure they've taken them to the Sargon Mines. Either that, or the difficulty must, must be scaled with an antagonist. That's where he'll be. In which case, because, there's no uh, time think, to lose. Let's go. I think every time I played it, there was an antagonist. You know, that could be the main difference in difficulty, then. But if you have a good antagonist, that phase is, that first phase can be difficult, at least before it was. Because um, if the antagonist goes into the uh, radius of the opponent, it doesn't shoot them. It, it counts them as like a uh, friendly. But if players go there, then it messes them up. Gotcha. Okay, so uh, yeah, yeah that, that makes sense with what he was saying at the end of the mission. They want to find the protector so they can do the magic warp drive thing to warp all the humans back to Earth or something. That makes sense. The third one, the third one must be related uh, to Horus Bala in some way. He must, he must have been like a prison keeper or something. Yeah, I mean, like the plot is not very good so far, but it has that, uh, what I was saying earlier, JRPG kind of craziness to it. Like it's so weird, not like, not like I weird, you know, but but pretty weird. It's it's because they they made a, a hero shooter game, but it has the art style of Castlevania Lords of Shadow. <laughs> yeah, they seem to be going like very JRPG ish, but a little different. Yeah. Um. This. Uh, they, I think they, their time with Konami must have kind of changed their work because before that they, uh, I keep forgetting that same people made the uh, Five Barkas Jericho, and that was some, um, that looked more European. Uh, yeah, could be. I mean, they just adopted all these Japanese sorta kind of art styles, but in their own way. I like the game, um, like if the first campaign uh, was used well I'd probably get it, but I don't know if I'm going to get it on uh, Xbox or PC. But there is cross-platform play, I just don't know if, um, if it's possible like that you can specifically invite someone that's on PC or not, I'm not sure. Uh, well, we'll wait to see the details, but if there's cross-platform then no downside to getting it on PC. Because at least you'll have uh, people to play with. Yeah, the only thing I'm worried about is performance, because like, they said it's 60 frames on console. On PC, I'm not sure I'm getting 60 over time. It all runs fine to me. Uh, it actually only chugs a bit in cutscenes, weirdly enough. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I'm say, I'd say if the beta is running smooth enough for you, it's fine. If it's not, it's not. I mean... On console, what, what's it gonna? On Xbox, what's it gonna be running at 720p anyway? So, you know, you gotta compare it to that. Yes. Um, 
I don't know, I'll see what happens when the time comes. Keep in mind, if it gets blazed by Steam reviews, then I don't know if it's going to have a lot of players. But the, a lot of the matchmaking, um, I don't know if the ma it's, it's the case where like the PC version has like matchmaking, but it's not as good as the console version. And um, a lot of the time, the players they actually hook us up with are on Xbox anyway. Like uh, the host of the last game we just played, um, it, uh, he was on Xbox. Oh, cool. Neat. Well, it worked out then. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for playing. Uh, see you again next time. I guess. Well, uh, if they introduce any uh, new missions, I, I'd really like to not play this stuff again. You know, I've already put like, I think, uh, let, me, let me just check on that. It's definitely more than 10 hours into this beta. That's the problem with these betas that give you everything is that you see everything it will have to offer before it's out. Yeah, well, I mean, the first is the... I, I'm assuming what well, they said, right? What's free is the prologue, which is basically the tutorial. And then they're going to sell us, what, Alien Mist for 10 bucks on top of top of that? I mean, I, you think Alien Mist is part of the prologue. Whatever they're selling is going to be... Uh, it's going to be... Oh, past Alien Mist. $10. Well, for free, if we get, I guess, what is six missions, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Even considering like the graphics of this game, this is this looks better than than an indie game. Well, uh, is it, are they being bankrolled by any publishers? If Don't yes, then they're not an indie game. If no, then I guess they're an indie game. Uh. Yeah, I put 16 hours into into this thing, like, from when I got <laughs> into the beta. And they said the wait, is there going to be versus multiplayer? Isn't that what they said? Or am I wrong? No, I'm hoping that they have something like that in the future, where you can just immediately start killing each other, because that'd be a lot more fun. But for now, it's basically uh, P... Uh, PvP BE like you get an antagonist there's your PvP hmm, weird. and it kind of it, it's the same kind of idea of 4 versus 1 oh. like evolve, but you know what I wonder if they'll do better. what if uh, I wonder if they'll make it so you can antagonist any mission even ones you haven't bought so that would ensure a more ready supply of antagonists I don't know. I mean, you still have to fix the matchmaking so that you can start missions with like less than four players. But yeah, that's a big thing. Deliberately first, uh, four players because if you could start a mission with like two players and then there was a good antagonist, he would wipe the floor with everyone. And um, what's the same? He would get stigmas a lot easier. Well, I think it's it's fair to only let there be antagonists for four player full matches. Yeah. Either that or um, they should allow like custom games where, uh, what's his name, they're not like giving anybody rewards or anything, but they can just mess around and have whatever they want. Yeah, if only. Anyway, thanks for playing. Uh, see you again next time. Next beta, I guess. One of the one or two before they actually launch this thing. Um, uh, real quick, uh... Yeah, any chance you want to try Call of Duty Ghosts? Yeah, sure, what, what the hell, sure. Let's go.